everybody. My name is Sahida and you're watching With Love, Sahida. Today, I wanted all of you to take a quick break with me and with the time of the month that it is, we're coming close to May and May is the month of mental health awareness. I wanted to talk about some feelings that I definitely do and I'm sure a lot of you out there do feel them so I just wanted you guys to take a break with me and let's acknowledge the variety of feelings that we have going on in that head and heart of ours that directly is relevant to our mental health status so let's get this started and thank you for your time all right so how many times um, do we feel anxious and we click on uh, these buttons on our social media pages like unfollow, unfriend, mute, hide notifications, ignore, maybe block. I have done it and raise your hand if you have. Because um, the end goal when we do these things is mm, if I do this, I'm going to feel better, right? So we do it and completely guilty that I have like whatever floats my boat right so um, these are the things to me on an everyday basis that affects my mental health like sometimes I just sit and wonder like does my existence matter in other people's life like you know when we feel sad and discuss about how somebody's not spoken to us for such a long period of time or how we feel like they don't care about us and somebody that you're talking to tells you hey you know what Sahida don't worry about it they're not thinking about you why are you thinking about them and wasting your time to me it's not wasting my time to me I'm thinking about them because they matter to me and that is why I'm concerned if I matter back to them equally and trust me it's completely normal um, and I think these things pass my head multiple times um, a certain song plays you look at a certain picture you pass a certain place a city a town and you know how many stories that float back in your head and you're like oh my god um, mental health is complex we all suffer in our own ways uh, but these are the things that affect me the most so today I'm going to be addressing and talking about these things and there are much bigger problems or different kinds of problems but to me I think my mental health gets um, affected when I think about things that I have been through and I've had no closures about or that pain me till date it could have happened 10 years ago but it pains me and that pain takes me to the dark places the bad places that um, makes me numb it makes me empty it makes me feel sad and lonely I could have all the happiness all the things that I want all the people that love me right here sitting right next to me and um, I would still feel sad and lonely it feels like a big rock is sitting on your chest and you can't take it off so you just let it sit there and just lay there like there are times when I go to work and people ask me how was your weekend and um, a okay but it wasn't you know how people say oh we did this and we did that and we hung out to me sometimes the answer to be honest is I laid in bed and I cried I wanted to get up and make myself a meal but my body didn't allow me to get up so I just laid in bed and cried till I was tired till my head hurt and I went back to sleep again for the next five hours but how does one acknowledge this how do you say this out loud to people I wonder sometimes how many stories I have been a part of you have been a part of in your life and how many of those stories um, still exist and how many of those stories people still remember because that's what matters right to me in the last 29 years of my life I probably would have affected and been a part of so many people's stories and I probably remember some and other people may be remembering some and forgetting a few but 
it does cross my head a lot of times that do I exist in the heads of the people that I don't talk to anymore? Um, do they think of me in a good way or a bad way? And sometimes I feel like picking up the phone with social media being so easy and open now to like reach out to them and then you go over there and you try to like reach out to them and you look at their profiles and you've seen that they've moved on they're doing so great with their lives now and you're just scared and you just shut that page and you go back to what you were doing um, have you ever uh, felt like it's so hard to open up about why you're feeling sad like for no real reason like i used to wake up in the morning and feel like aimless clueless hopeless like i did not know what is going on i was not interested in anything i have a job i had to run my regular daily errands chores keep up with family meet expectations and i wasn't sick i wasn't physically sick. I didn't have a disease. I didn't have an illness, but I just didn't feel up to it. Like I had people pass comments like, oh, you're just feeling lazy. It's normal. But no, it wasn't laziness. I would have anxiety. I would have panic attack just sitting on a Saturday afternoon in my house all by myself watching TV. Like, how do you explain that? Just a couple of things that um, I do when I feel low is I question my negative thoughts and I try to challenge them. Um, I usually don't talk about it to anybody, which I should, and I'm working on correcting it. Um, but I um, kind of ask myself questions like this thing that I'm thinking about and this subject that's running in my head at the speed of 100 kilometers per hour and pulling me down. Is this going to matter in five years? Am I exaggerating and blowing up this situation in my head? What are the arguments for or against these thoughts? What is the evidence against my thinking? Like, why should I stop thinking? And if I should stop thinking, what should I do about it? Am I jumping to conclusions that are not real and are just fictitious? Uh, what is the worst that could happen? how will I face it if it happens? Um, I try to draw inspirations from problems and struggles that I've faced in the past. Um, um, am I paying, I ask myself if I'm paying too much attention to the black side of the problem as opposed to the positive or the stronger side of the problem. Um, but in between all of this, I've always told myself that my feelings are valid. Never once think that your feelings are invalid because um, that's taking a step back. To end my little story for all of you, I would like to share this article that I read by Hannah Brancher, uh, which tells us to look at all our lives like a little bag that we've packed. We all have a bag that we have to pack and we all pack differently. Some of us pack light and easy and it's all roomy inside our bags. Some of us pack like hoarders. It's tight, it's full and it's heavy because we are hoarding all the memories, good and bad, in those bags. Now the trick is to figure out how to carry these bags as you move along in your life how to unpack it and how to lay out all those things from your bag and how to face that mess. Um, as life goes on, we have to lay out all the things from our bags, look at all the things, spend some time with all those memories that is coming out of your bag and decide what you want to take with you and what you want to leave behind. Trust me, it's an uphill battle and nobody will ever be able to give you a guarantee that you're going to always feel a-okay in your life but it's in your hands look around you there's so much help available please never for a second feel that you should be ashamed of yourself the day i realized that i was not mental i was just struggling and i needed some support and clarity my uphill battle became much easy to conquer. 
I hope I've made a little bit of difference in your day to day and I hope you feel better. Give a pat on your back and hug yourself tight because if you're watching this video, you've made it this far and you've survived all those struggles. So feel happy, feel hopeful. I'm sending all of you love. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. It's called With Love Sahira on YouTube and on Instagram. I am new to this whole concept, so I'm going to try my best to keep you guys posted, make nice stuff, create good content, and stay safe. Thank you so much.